Good morning, everybody. How are you doing? Hopefully my phone isn't freaking out like it did the other day. Hang on a second, let me double check. Yep. Is it freaking out? I don't know. That was the weirdest video ever. I was watching it, and it was just like my phone just started being possessed. It's like looking for an old priest and a young priest, you know what I mean? Clean my house. That was freaky. Yeah, I was just watching going, what the fuck? And of course it was all about, you know, stuff that I guess they didn't like. I was pissing somebody off. They took down <coughs> they took down that video I was talking about and I mentioned vaccines and that was enough to get me bumped. Let's go Brandon. That's an awesome video. Nobody's gonna watch it because you know YouTube's blocking me. So I'm just going to keep doing as many videos as I can. Hopefully, you know, I don't know. Maybe one day we'll get a lawsuit and wind up, you know, I don't know, making them have to change their algorithm. I can't just stifle opinions and voices. It's called freedom of speech. In America, we have it. Well, we had it. Apparently, big companies, big Google and YouTube and Facebook, they have the right to shut you up without any cars non you know non-violent not i'm not promoting anybody to hurt each other i only promote love and light but maybe that's all they need because they're they you know they work for the dark lord so if you work for the darkness you're gonna not, you're gonna hate anybody that has any positive energy has any positive thoughts anybody that's making videos that's putting videos out that inspire people that uplift people that make them feel better about themselves i mean i'm not i'm not part of any major religion. I don't believe in major religions. I believe in God. I believe in the universe. And I believe in you. And I believe in myself. And that's it. And that's all I promote. That's all I preach. I mean, to tell you what, if I make fun of somebody like Joe Biden because he's an idiot, you know, globalist scumbag, or Clinton's, for, for, you know, Bill for being a scumbag pervert, or, you know, the Obama's for being as corrupt as the, the day is long, you know, Hunter Biden, that dude, come on now. How do you get on the board of a Ukrainian gas company without any experience and don't even speak the freaking language? Hey, was it? What was he getting, 80000 a month? Yeah, anyway. Talk about corruption. So, yeah, I, of course, I'm going to say things like that, and that's going to piss him off, right? <laughs> yeah, anyway. What I really wanted to talk about this morning was something I was going to talk about last night and do a video about was first person shooter games, video games. Basically what I want to talk about was um, the supply chain shortage, what that means. Basically the globalists want to run the world, they want to stress you, they want to make things difficult for you, they don't want you to be happy, they don't want you to be comfortable. They don't want you to feel good about yourself because when you feel good about yourself and when you're comfortable, you're not angry. You're not ready to go beat up your neighbor. You're not ready to go out and, you know, hurt people because you're doing good. You're making money. You have some things. So they're going to put a stop to that real quick. And I wouldn't be surprised if the Chinese government actually bought off all the politicians in America. They just, it just, but then again, it's all a conglomerate. I mean, personally, I think China is the globalist bad guy. They all, you know, it used to be Iran, but they kind of softened it. They're just pussies. Anyway, it used to be Iran, and then it was North Korea, and then Trump just destroyed that whole thing because he was, you know, North Korea was the bad guy. Everybody's like, ooh, North Korea, all right, he's going to start a war. But then again, think about China. All they, China is nothing but negative. They have, in, they have concentration camps where they put Muslims in these camps or political prisoners or anybody else they don't like. And nobody says nothing about that. But China's great, right? LeBron James, you piece of shit. Anyway, I hate people that promote evil. And they're all evil. They're, and what promotes evil is money. These people are all rich. These people are all in the, you know, they're low vibration human beings. Probably not really intelligent either. <clears throat> but they hold the reins of power right now. And they're destroying the world. And they're destroying the young, the youth. My son plays first-person shooter games, and I think it's horrible. I think it's disgusting. I think it trains people to be um, psychopaths, to be to not feel. You 
You know, have no feelings when you're killing people. That's a psychopath. And so these video games are turning the young into a bunch of little psychopaths. I remember video games used to be fun. I used to play video games. You know, you'd have Frogger, you'd have Mario Brothers, you'd have, you know, I don't know, Pac-Man, Galactica. You know, the video games are fun. But now it's just all about killing a human being and putting them down. And they're teaching them about weaponry and it's all about how much ammo you can hold. And it's, it's disgusting. I love my son. I don't agree with what he does. And I, 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 I'm partly responsible in a way because I promoted, I gave him, you know, Game Boy, Nintendos. I, you know, I let him have the, you know, I let him have that kind of stuff. That freedom. That's what he wanted. That's what he liked. So I gave it to him. I wanted, to, I wanted my son to be happy. But I don't want him to be a psychopathic killer like they're training these kids up to be. My son is a good man. He's a good father. And he's trying to be do the best he can. He's, he became a father really young, too. So I'm, I'm really impressed with his, you know, he's doing what he has to do. It's not easy. He needs help from his old lady, but that's a whole other situation. <clears throat> but the supply chain is a whole, you know, if you have, you know, it's like the newest Xbox, the newest phone the newest this you don't need it you don't need it I'm sorry you don't need it you want to be happy love yourself give something away give some of your damn shoes away if you got nobody needs a hundred shoes nobody needs a hundred shoes if you got some stilettos maybe find some dude that likes dressing up as drag whatever just give them away you don't need all that stuff we need to start being more thrifty we need to start being more spartan in our lifestyle look at me I'm living in a vehicle I'm living off of canned food and water. Thank God I still have some. And I don't know what tomorrow brings, but I'm surviving and I'm not asking for more. I don't, you know, I would like to have more, but but it, it, you, there's people that are way worse off than me. I've seen them. I've met them. And I'm, it just breaks my heart that I can't do anything for them. But what I want from you is to understand that this supply chain shortage might be a blessing in disguise buy local there are, I'm an artist I paint I have paintings all over my vehicle I would love to sell those I'm a local artist it was made in America by Americans you know it doesn't have to be my paintings but buy local give gifts that you find on the street go to your flea markets go to you know go to your farmers market and find crafts and gifts that people are making the, by their own hand that's what you want. That's what you. That's what. That would make more of a gift than buy some crap from China. Don't buy. Don't buy crap from China no more. It's that simple. Make it yourself. Google some shit. Use Google for a good purpose. Oh, they're all evil. I'm being screwed with hard. I need to figure out. I need. I might need to call a lawyer about that. But because I, like I said, right now my voice, my only voice is this video, these videos, and I'm trying to eventually build up my channel. So I can maybe make some money at it. So I'm not such a you know impoverished human being. That would be wonderful, right? Maybe do some tarot readings. Maybe you know be able to sell my paintings through that. I don't know, but it's 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 a form of income that I might be able to access. But these people are keeping me from it. They're fucking with my money, period. They're messing with everybody's money. They're censored. That is, I guess, Let's Go Brandon is number one on iTunes, but it's banned on YouTube. Why? Because it mentions. Medical disinformation. They're sneaky little fuckers, aren't they? Like I said, I might have to get a lawyer because I'm trying to figure this out. I need to have my voice heard. And YouTube is blocking me in every turn. I've been restricted from day one. I came over from Facebook. And I wasn't popular on Facebook. I had almost 5,000 friends at one point. Uh, I started dropping away. <clears throat> but I was very vocal about adrenochrome the globalist, the all that stuff. I was I was not being quiet about nothing. I'm I'm I wasn't a major Trump supporter. I don't I'm not a follower. But I tell you what, I know good when it's working and I know bad when it's showing up. And it, and things were going well. The the economy was booming. We were self sufficient as far as energy, and all of a sudden now we're just a bunch of po impoverished fucking humans. What the fuck happened, right? In three in the span of two years. We went from a boomy economy to supply shortages. And we're having to beg OPEC to pump more oil. So gas isn't six bucks a gallon. Yeah. Fucked up.
type shit. Like I said, I'm gonna try to do videos. This is this is this isn't Disney. I'm not doing videos for children, so I don't have to watch my language. I don't care about that. This is freedom of speech, babe. As long as, like I said, as long as I'm not promoting violence or hate, I should be able to say whatever I want. It's freedom of speech, and it's being stifled hard. Like I said, I hate to get a lawyer because I know how lawyers are. Most of, most politicians are lawyers, by the way. But anyway. <clears throat> And they know how to abuse the law and, and manipulate. Anyway. <sighs> the fight is a good fight. We're going to win. That's all I got to say. And I'm not giving up. Kicking and, kicking and scratching, fighting, punching in. <laughs> With love. I'm just not going to let him take me down. I'm not going to let him depress me. I'm not going to let him make me feel bad about myself. I'm the emperor of the universe. In my heart, my mind, I am one. And I'm happy. And I'm blessed. And I'm coming after you, baby. <laughs> if you love me, you're going to get it. You're going to feel the love. It's like I reflect what you give me. And I'm going to make you feel happy as hell. Every time you watch my videos, you're going to be like, that guy's awesome. Unless you're a globalist scumbag who likes to fuck children, then you're going to hate my guts. Because I'm coming after you. I'm going to find you, and I'm going to get you. God's going to get you. There ain't no hiding for these evil people. They can hide now, but it, eventually it's going to come crumbling down. <sighs> Nothing evil shall last. There has to be a balance, babe. Anyway, enough about that. I love you. God loves you. And the universe loves you. Remember that. And love yourself because you're that important. We need you in this fight. Don't be depressed. Don't feel bad because the world is going shit because it's doing that on purpose to make you feel bad and the sooner you realize that and take control of your feelings take control of your thoughts and you warrior up and you kick ass with love and light <sighs> okay have a wonderful day and i will too i will try to survive another day and we'll see what tomorrow brings okay okay love and light people okay bye